Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already, look, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me um and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe that you know just really give you some insight that you really need it you know please pass it on to somebody else that may be able to be insightful towards them as well and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video um and the video i'm about to do right now is called twin flame 101 hey okas healing through your grieving process uh, in all forms feel like all hell's breaking loose to prepare you for a little taste of heaven it is you know um i've been uh taking a hiatus you know just you know allowing myself to just self-reflect you know see all the different things in my life that you know everything not even some things but all things that has truly taken place in my life is truly beneficial towards me you know i tell y'all all the time you know when you're going through different stuff at times it's really it's hard to be appreciative of something that you know they can feel like it's giving you a curveball to just really just mess your day up or it just seems like you know it's a uh what do they call it domino effect ripple effect of all different things that's taking place in your life you know there's times that you know your life feels like it's falling apart um it just feels like you're always constantly you know alone people don't really get you you know um people will be one way one minute and be different the next you know and it's just like it'll feel like your life is falling apart but it's actually coming together you know when you sit up here and pray or just even have the thoughts to yourself you know allow me to have people in my life that is genuine or allow me to be on that path that is really truly um beneficial towards me you know allow myself to see the good even through the harshest moments and you don't realize you know the power in your words you know is really allowing that to take in place and that's what the universe wants you to do you know be uh step out your pride you know um be humble uh anything that's taking place into your life that may you know make you feel like you're just <laughs> like an avalanche of drama is coming into your life is revealing you know you have your own personal revelations that's taking place that um that's truly beneficial towards you you know a lot of times we feel like we're alone it's like we're not alone but it's just like even if people come and go out of your life you know they're, they're having access to you as you having access to them is that you needed them in that level of that that vibration you were in at that time and there are sometimes that was only the access that they needed from you or that was the only access you needed from them there are certain things that they have overcome into their lives that was going to be nurturing towards you as well as vice versa and um you know it'll be different things that's taking place in your life you know um it, it may feel like this life is like to me from what i'm hearing from myself as well as the universe and then when i'm connecting with other people things are unfolding in ways that it just feels like what <laughs> what is going on what is going on but that's really not you know a lot of times you know they always tell you trust the process you know going through grief is not always um, having to do with a loss of a loved one you know grief you're going through a pattern um, within yourself that you're changing frequencies at rapid pace you're um, heightening in your gifts that may not make sense at this point right now but you're going to constantly get aha moments you know we dealt with the, um, I, I hear there, there's a new vortex that's opening you know um, so there's a lot of different things that may keep you you know dragged you know you're drained constantly all the time and your mind is like it, it could be your body is just like oh let me sleep and then your mind is going at rapid pace rapid pace rapid pace because you're going through ascension you're going through kundalini you're going through dark night of the soul you know there's a lot of different things that's coming up to the surface you know it's just like um when you're boiling something you're cooking stuff you know uh, whatever is not needed is coming to the surface so it can evaporate and that's what it's doing in our lives and it can feel like all oh, hell's breaking loose you know um you're, you're bumping heads with your family you know you you be saying something that you know it could really be nurturing but somebody takes it as like you know you're trying to jab at them 
or you're making choices that's benefiting you. You're allowing yourself to see uh, the the red flags, you know, and you're paying attention to it. And it's just like, you know, anything that is, is taking place into your life, it may hurt. But trust, it, it was for your benefit. You know, a lot of times, universe and God will kill connections for the connection kills you. So, um, there's different things that's going on into your life where, you know, um, different things are coming into play. And you're able to see them, you know, it, it's just all about how you choose the, the perspective that you can see things at. If you can see, you know, if you force yourself, and a lot of times you have to do that when you're going through so many different things at one time. Um, you have to force yourself in the perspective and that's basically what it is. You know, your perspective is what really allows you to see things for what they truly are. You know, a lot of times that truth is hard for us to digest. You know, um, with us going in, um, in, in strength, when we're strengthening ourselves, you have to understand it, it doesn't have to just be just people that are choosing to be sleep or people that have enclosed mind. It's even people within our tribe. You know, when you're allowing yourself to be open within your gifts, it can, it can rub other tribes, you know, uh, other people in our tribe the wrong way. It can be other people that just, you know, not understanding what they're going on or choose not to, you know, um, frequencies are, uh, you know, different frequencies is bumping heads. You know, there's people that choose to not heal and there's people that are trying to go all in and heal. And those things are not for the weak at heart and not saying the people that don't want to heal um, are not healing or anything like that. But it's just at that point right now, you can't force somebody to heal you can't force somebody to see something they're not ready to see you know there'll be a lot of times that we're even going through stuff you know and there'll be somebody who you know uh projected that truth on us and it, 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 we got offensive off of it you know and it is just like at that point in time you're you know i'm starting to see a lot of different things in my life you know it could be upsetting when you're helping somebody and you're really trying to help them nurture and next to you know you know flip you know script flip and then you can feel it you know they always tell you never second guess your intuition you know um if if the vibrations uh change even you know how they talk to you change that's that time you're like okay that's that's your chance to uh go ahead and cut that tide and just go on about yourself and it's not saying you have trust issues but if something I, i'm i'm at that type i'm at that vibe right now where if there's something I've healed from and made, you know, made peace with it, and then you're, there's something that you do that reminds me of something I healed from, I, I just cut it off. You know, just cut it off and just go. And just allow myself to still wish people well. You know, there's a lot of times we take offense of how people do things, you know, how they say things, how their actions are. But for me to get through, I know I had to allow myself to say, you know, uh, people use the tools that they're they're used to doing you know this is how they move this is how they act this is how they project this is how they they move forward you know you have to be able to accept those people for that you know there was a time that we didn't want to heal we were probably moving in the same way they're moving the way they chose to they're moving in the way they feel comfortable to you know because there's a lot of times you may have people that are just poking 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 you know um and those are the things that universe is benefiting you for. You know, a lot. It's like, how is the universe benefiting you off of bringing people in your life that's just toxic? You need those. You need those people. They are part of your your change. They are part of your, um, you know, involve you know your evolution. They are because it's just like if we didn't have these tests, we didn't have you know people in our life to rock the boat. We don't have people in our life to hurt us you know use deception you know all these things you really wouldn't know where your potential stayed at if everything just went smooth sailing for you you would never really know where your determination stayed at you need those type of people in your life you know there'll be different times you know um where i felt like you know what i want to just keep a distance because i'm tired of all the drama you know and it's just like no don't do that you know you don't do that you everything never regret what you have done for other people never allow yourself to regret what they've done to you 
done to you and done for you because these are all nurturing you know if you have gone out your way to help somebody you know and I've heard that a lot with other people when they when they come to me about different things it's like Riles and I've always been that helper 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 but then when it came back you know they were nowhere involved you know and it makes me resentful and they're you know universe and God is telling you don't do that you you were that blessing they they prayed on something and you were able to give that to them you know, that shows character on where character stays at. You know, um, there are people in my life that, you know, were not in my life or no longer in my life. They probably, you know, don't have anything, you know, good to say about me either. You know, they chose to walk away or I didn't. And it's okay. And, you know, there will be people in my life that is like Rosalind. You know, she don't really help me through a lot. You know, she has helped me see a lot. And I still, you know, I still appreciate people on both accords. You know, on both of course. And, you know, it took me a long time not to be aggravated or bitter about anything, you know, because there have been so many times where I just wanted to walk away, you know, because there was people in my life that, you know, what I showed them, what, you know, I projected towards them, allowing them to know my story and my purpose and stuff like that. And they really appreciated that. And, you know, they still stuck by me. You know, frequency ain't changed except it got stronger, you know. And they were just like, Rosalind, you know where you're headed, you know. Um... You, you you helped me see a lot of things in my life that was confusing. I was like, shoot, sometimes I can't even find myself out of a paper bag. But, you know, it's just me being real like that. There is moments that I have where, you know, shit just get really crazy. Excuse my language. And there'll be different times where I'm just stuck in my own confusion or just, just times where I need that moment by myself. Or there's times where I feel like, why is God forsaking me? Or, you know, why does he keep bringing people in my life that constantly hurt me? You know, it'll be stuff like that. But then it's like when I allowed myself to really step back, I had to tell God, thank you. Because it showed me so much about the world. It showed me how much people can change. You can show how much people project towards you when there's issues within themselves they need to, you know, really uh, pay attention to. And it's just, it's going to be like that. When you tend to grow. And it's not something, you know, they could be doing it subconsciously or unsubconsciously. You know, I, I, you know I, I'm just at that point where I just don't have time to sit up here and feel, do you realize what you're putting on me? <laughs> or do you realize what you're projecting to me? And it was just like, you know what, that was, you know, I said, that's just my cutest step left. Uh, yes, I said left and I went right. So, yeah, that's what I meant. I went left. Um, and just allowed myself to do that. But then it's just like I think about them, you know, and I... I really pray for them and I'm not talking about pray where I, whatever they put on me I put back on them no this is where you learn you know this is what they were here to do every person that you meet that comes into your life every chapter you are close you know you are turning to every door that is opening and closing for you everything was happening exactly the way it's supposed to you're gonna have days where you're just not gonna understand what's going on you're gonna have that day where you're just crying for two or three days straight you're gonna have days where you are really about to catch a charge if one more thing pops off but this is that thing that's showing you you had to go through that grief process to be able to rearrange things to take you towards your higher self this is really projecting the pure, pure, uh, pure version of where you're supposed to be because it's like you had to go through those rocky roads. You had to go through, towards that steep mountain of Everest that it took forever, you know, for you to get to that top. You know, when you get to the top, you're showing you you have to go down again, you know. But this is how, you know, it's just like if you're a Hayoka, you're a warrior, nothing's going to come to you easy. You know, if there's things that you're trying to manifest, you're going to go through hell to try to get to it. Because God wants to know, are you going to appreciate what I'm bringing into your life? Are you going to still be that same person that woke like about five, six years from now or five or six months from now? Did you grow? Did you appreciate everything that came out of your life? Are you seeing the benefits through the good and the bad? Are you, you know, appreciating people that knocked you down as the way, same ones that lifted you up? You know, are you sending praises towards the people that stabbed you in your back or that person that gave you the last shirt on their back? You know, and it, it's just like all those different things had to have hell breaking loose into your life. You know, um, it, it's just like, uh, like for the last few days, I've been just self-reflecting. You know, there's different things that was taking place and, you know, there'll be days I was angry and then there'll be days that, you know, I cried tears of joy and just told God, thank you. You know, because a lot of times we have to really get out of our head. You know, everything that you're facing right now, and it may be hard to digest. I'll probably get a couple of side eyes from me saying that. But everything that's taking place, this is what you needed. 
You know, and I had to be at that same thing. I look at how things go in my life. Even when they ain't going right, this is something that I needed. Because it's just showing me, even when you don't have everything, God's going to give you what you need. He's going to be substantial in your life every kind of way. You know, everything is going to be that way where it's benefiting. You're going to have not have everything that you want, but you're going to have what you need. You know, he's going to bring people into your life that is going to show you everything. You know, everything, good or bad, happy, sad, whatever. And you're going to need that. You know, that's going to make you keep going. A lot of times the devil will put stuff in your life to make you feel like God doesn't turn his back on you. That he's going to constantly keep doing things to just piss you off. You know, he's going to keep snatching stuff away from you while he's showing everybody else getting their little, you know, their little pinnacles and stuff like that. You know, he wants you to stay focused on what you don't have. That's where the devil is because the devil sees your potential. The devil sees your light. He knows you're going to be that, that plot twist of a game changer that the world really needs. You know, we can't change the world if we're not changing ourselves. How can we expect other people to heal when we're still stuck in our vibration of what we mad about, what somebody stole, what people lied about this, what people deceiving on that? You, you know, just being able to say thank you. You know, also I've been going through my stuff my whole life. Stuff really got real going close to six years ago. And it's coming on the anniversary of being six years ago. And it's just like I have molded myself out to be a better person I never thought I could be. I have faced a lot of things that I probably, I'm surprised I didn't catch the charge for it yet. That I had to really make peace at. Being able to say this is my purpose. Even though these things has happened to me and in a way I would have never wished on my enemies. And I got a lot of them. You know, I still wouldn't wish that on them. You know. And it's just to show how strong I am, you know, because it's just like when you have enemies and they want to joke and laugh and do whatever they want to do with you or, you know, just make you feel worse than already worse. Just know if the shoe was on the other foot, baby, they couldn't last the way you last. You have faced a lot of things that people would have hauled ass for. Okay, you were accepting things that people would have just straight up ignored saying, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Because there's a lot of people that are still in denial, you know, and I, I'm, not, I'm not talking about over there by the River Jordan. I'm not talking about over there by Le Lean Tower of Pisa. Uh, I'm not. I'm talking about denial, <laughs> you know, denial. They want to be that way, you know, um, because it's just the, f the things that we face. Not everybody can do, you know. That's the reason why you were chosen. That's why you, you're, you're anointed the way you are. Because of the things that you had to really see for what they are. And a lot of things you got to see. Baby, that mess ain't pretty. That is not pretty. But when you get to that point where all doors just start flying open for you. In places that you didn't even think you were qualified for. You're going to understand why the hell the devil was so harsh on you you won't understand while while the devil and god also have brought people in your life to deceive you had people making the you know claim that they they wanted the best benefit for you and trying to see which god daggone cord they can cut to make everything fall for you you know the people that don't lost everything that don't have nothing is kind of come in your life and try to make sure they can take all that stuff away from you too you know all those different things you know and it's just going to show you what you going to entertain. It's like with me. I, I make it short and sweet. You know. Um, allowing myself to live in now. You know. Not sitting up here seeing. Oh is this going to be my best friend. Or is this going to be a person that I can see myself connected with for years and years at a time. I had to allow myself to stop doing that. Because I, I was putting a disappointment for a lot of things. And now it's just like live in the now. You know, live in the now. If this if this is a connection that is going to be there for a long time, universe is going to show you that through different stages of your life, do through different things that you're facing. You know, you're going to see that. If they weren't meant, that was a lesson and a blessing. Move on, appreciate it, send them the best on their way, and you keep doing you. When you see different things that's challenging your peace, challenging your love for yourself, your worth for yourself, your respect for yourself, that is not something that you, you it can challenge you, but don't ever, don't ever choose something or someone over those things because those are the things that keeps you strong. Those are the things that keep you, you know, I, I used to be that type of person. I sacrificed my happiness, my peace of mind. You know, I made myself open for people that wasn't open for me. You know, I was putting my happiness down for everybody. It was like, they weren't putting no deposits in. It was just take, 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 you know, 
doormat for different people narcissistic punching bag for other people now i'm just like if this is not enriching me if this is not growing me if this is not evolving me if this is making me question where you at in my life and what the hell you doing bye bye i'm gone I'm just gone, you know, and I still appreciate that. And that's what it's telling you. Look at how far you have come from the stuff that has popped in your life. You know, you may not be exactly where you want to be at right now, but you are nowhere near the person that you first started on that first foot towards, you know, on that, that spiritual path where you had to see things from a broader view, seeing a bitter, bigger picture for everything. Because it's just like there's times we can be in that point like, why, you know, why is it just like I always, you know, push love and prosperity and peace out for people? I just keep getting, you know, going through some kind of financial suffering. I'm going through, you know, family suffering. You know, my, my family don't turn their back on me. People that I don't support it just don't turn their back on me. You know, when I needed something, they were never there. You know, and it was just like that journey has ended with them. Whatever you need, God and universe is going to supply that anyway. You know, they see they see your steps before you do. They see the steps of others before they do. Because there's a lot of times they don't took people out your life because they see what was being talked about when you weren't there. They seen some kind of sneaky moves they were making when you weren't there. You see what kind of corruption they were bringing into your life when you weren't around. It had to go. You had to go. You know, and if it wasn't that, it was just the point is... That that they only have a have a access to you at a certain vibration, a certain frequency, and you're you're past that now. You know, and it's not saying they weren't worthy or you're looking at them, you know, beneath you or whatever. It's not that, but that's what you needed at that point in time. So it's you're going through these things. All hell had to break loose for you for you to get your utopia of heaven, you know, here on earth, you know, because you're gonna start seeing things in a different way. You know, seeing things, you're going to appreciate it. Even when there's tears coming down your eyes and, you know, you're just really trying to understand why certain things are taking place the way it is and it just feel like it's not right. They tell you, trust the process. There's something greater out there for you. There's something that is just going to be perfect just for you. You know, God sees the, su you know, the suffering that you go through all the time to try to light work while you're trying to still light work for yourself. You know, you're trying to heal yourself while all these different challenges is coming in. But this is where that strength comes from. Warriors don't go through the little petty stuff. They don't go through the little stuff like it's crying over spilled milk. No, they, they start wrecking shop. Like, they just start having boulders coming down on you. And you just got to be dodging them. Dodging them, dodging them, dodging them. But this is that thing. You know, these portals don't open. I know I, I've heard, you know from earlier this morning vortex are coming open because your vibrations is really opening things to where you you feel certain things have shifted in a big way and you don't understand you can't put your finger on it or anything else vortex are open frequencies are being potent like very intense so they're telling you pay attention pay attention you know stay focused on you there'll be certain things that's going to come in your but still you, you know they keep a keep this but you keep this up at the same time because it's like these are the seat you know these are the look this is the seat you know you're able to do stuff because your, your gifts are really heightening right now it's really heightening you know you're manifesting things you can say something you can see something in the dream and boom a day or two it happens or certain people you thinking about boom next you know they talk, they call you they text you they come by your house hey i was just thinking about you I'm like what the hell you know it'll be one of those moments but things are really changing for you Allow yourself to be able to appreciate the benefits of all those ups and downs it's taking you. Because it's creating something with you you weren't prepared for. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Annie I. Much love to you. Uh, Jessica Walton. Baby Stig. Um, Ty, Tyra Lover 941. Much love to you. And Wild, Wildflower. Much love to you as well. If you're new to my channel you know welcome it's so good to have you um i leave all my contact information in the description box below as well um if you felt like you know giving generous enough to be you know give a donation i would greatly appreciate it. i'll leave my uh cash app 
uh, address on there as well. You know, a lot of people hit me up one on one when they don't feel comfortable with speaking on different things that they may be facing. You know, um, so they hit me up through you know uh, IG or they hit me up on email. You know, just talk about it. I try my best to help you out. Um, you know, whatever universe allows me to see to go ahead and pass to you. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential. So I hope you have a blessed week. You know, it's been going by fast and it's been getting cray. So I hope y'all have a blessed week coming up to a weekend. You know, much love to you. Be please be responsible and safe with every single thing you do. Whatever you're manifesting to your life, I send so much prosperity, abundant vibes, and you know, blessings of high pinnacles, top tier. That whatever you've been facing, you know, whatever you've been going through, it may feel like a struggle, but trust and believe God and universe is opening doors for you that's truly deserving that you never anticipated. And it'll be coming quicker than you than you predicted as well. You'll see me on my next video. Much love to you, peace.